Hello out there once again all my fellow Fix-It engineers, welcome back to another episode of How to Satisfactory, where in the last few episodes we have been building up towards completing phase three. And wait, what is that I see up there in the corner? Why it looks like we have everything we need. We could go ahead and complete phase three today. We could go ahead and start working on making aluminum aluminum aluminum. So I could go ahead and come out here and pull the trigger here on our space elevator and get that going. However, there's still a couple more things I need to do before we can get to that step. One of the things we need to do is get a monorail system going. So that's probably should be the next step because in order to get everything we need to make aluminum aluminum, all those things are pretty far away. And in order to bring them all together, we need trains. So ever since the last episode, my life's kind of taken this really weird turn. Uh, I'm not going to go into details, but let's just say things have been pretty busy for me and currently I'm actually moving, which is what's taken so long to even get this episode out. But I have been quietly working in the background, preparing something, trying to get a plan together. And one thing that that plan has taught me is that we don't have enough power right now. No siree Bob, all of this coal power that we have right here, along with all the power here from our fuel generators, it's just not enough to run the monorail system that I have in mind, as well as mining the bauxite and producing the aluminum. aluminum. So what I want to do for this episode is I want to give us a lot more power, specifically since we are running out of time before 1.0 actually releases very, very soon. And at the very least, before 1.0 comes out, I really just want to get my aluminum factory done. I've never done aluminum before, and it's a, it's a huge step for me. Now, since I seem to be getting the most power out of the fuel generators, this is the route that we're going to be taking today. There's also plenty of unused oil nodes over here, and I think it's a good idea to take advantage of these while we have them. For this build, I'm going to be using the one closest to the oil rig that we already have over here, this one right here. We do have to take care of a few nasty critters over here, but shouldn't take long. And with those guys taken care of, that leaves us with a nice pure crude oil node right here. Ah uh, yes, black gold, Texas tea. First thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and go into our production. We're going to grab a oil extractor right here. And I'm gonna place that on top of that node and I'm gonna place it kind of so it's uh, in line and facing the other oil lines that we have down there as straight as I can get it along lined up with that. I think that should do it. I'm then going to go ahead and we're going to put down one of our foundations here. Make sure it's a two meter foundation right in front of our oil extractor here. Let's make sure that it's kind of blue. I think that'd be good to use right there. And then let's see if we can get that to line up as best we can. This one is gonna be one we're gonna have to eyeball. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and place our two meter right there. I'm then going to place four four meter ones on top of that two meter, like so, followed by another two meter right there. Then we'll put another one meter on top of that two meter right there. That's going to be our guidelines for our foundation here for our new oil rig. Now from the top of this platform, we're gonna copy that. And then we're going to go five towards the north and another five the opposite direction towards the south. So now you should have five foundations on each side of the middle platform we made. That's going to be a total of 11 right there. Come down here to either side and we're going to copy the platform once again. Now this one, we are going to go this way. We're going to go about 12 that direction. So once we add on 12, that's going to be 13 this way. So 11 by 13. Now we just going to, want to finish out the square here. So this should be a 13 by 11 square platform, or at least it will be a platform. We just need it to fill in all the center pieces here like that. There we go. There's our 11 by 13 platform right here. This is going to be our logistics platform. Now we need another one right above this that our, our fuel generators and refineries are going to set on. So we're making it very similar to how we did on that oil rig over there. This one's just going to have a different purpose. Next up, we'll go into our foundations in our build menu. We're going to look for the inverted ramp four meter right there. And we're going to place these right on the edge of all of these down through here, preferably so that it matches the bottom right there as far as height and go all the way around all the edges with that. Now for each of the corners, we're going to go in, we're going to grab the inverted ramp corner four meter like that. And we're going to put those on the corner pieces there 
And now on top of all of this, we are going to put one more layer of the one meter foundations from the each corner like that all the way across. And then once again, we're going to fill in this top layer to make this all one singular platform by putting the one meter foundations all the way across and all the way up. Now that makes the top platform a total of 13 this way and 15 that way. We now no longer need these foundations going up in front of our oil extractor, so we'll remove those. I will, however, take some frame foundations and put them somewhere around the middle of each corner down through here. I'll use nudge to get it exactly where I want it. Right in the middle between those four foundations, I think is perfect. I will then use vertical zoop to put these down to almost the ground right here. And then I'll put a concrete piece right there on the bottom. Like so. And now that makes a nice structure going up to support the entire platform there. And I'll repeat that on all four of the corners there. Now we want to get the oil from our oil extractor up to the top floor. So what I'm going to do is let's go in here. Let's grab a pipeline floor hole. And we're going to put it right in the middle here. So right there. And then one back from where the grid is right there. So right there. I'll then go ahead and put a pipeline from there and connect it into our oil extractor there. And since that height is more than the head lift of the oil extractor can handle, we're going to need a pump. So I'm going to use a Mark II pump, place it right there, make sure we turn it so that it is flowing upwards. And we'll put it eh, right about there should do. All right, now we are back on the top of our platform here and we want to place down some refineries. So I'm going to go ahead and go into production refinery and I want to have it so that the input is facing the back in other words the western side and let's see here let's get it to right about here and then i'm going to nudge this from here and that way we can get it just where we want it so i want to bring it over not exactly to the foundation here just a little bit off right there and then the front i want to have it come up about to the edge of the fourth foundation so one two three four so I want it to come to right about there. So we'll move it up to there. That looks pretty good. I like that. We'll place that. All right, let's go ahead and copy that refinery there. And we'll place another one right down next to it here. Nudge this over just a little bit here to the left. Uh, we'll do two places. I think might work for us there. And then we'll do one more next to that. And again, nudge that over two places. Yep, that's perfect. That's exactly the way I want that. We'll come all the way over here to the left-hand side and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we'll line these up. I'll use nudge once again to make sure everything's good. Lined up to the front, over the edge here to this way just a little bit. Yep, that's exactly where I want it. Go ahead and place that one down. And then we'll come over here and we'll put two more down with two spaces in between each one. So I'll place that one down there and then over two. And then one more right here, move it two across and place down. Now we'll come here to the back of each of the refineries. We will go into logistics and we'll find the pipeline floor hole. And we'll put that behind each of the inputs for pipes here right about there will work and then we'll put our pipes in make sure these are mark twos and then we're going to set each of these refineries up to do fuel and we're going to end up with a byproduct of the polymer resin i'll go ahead and copy the settings on this and then paste this onto all of the other ones by just highlighting each one and hitting Control v i'll take out one foundation here to get to our logistics floor down here and then we just want to set these up so that our oil is coming up here and then splitting down in between here. So let's start over here and I will again grab some Mark II pipelines. I will bring this out until it kind of looks decent. That will work right there. We do have a weird bend right there, but I'm okay with that. And we will do this to each of the other floor holes underneath of each refinery here. We'll just bring that out to right about there get all of those about equal I'll then take another pipeline we'll connect it to the end down here where we're standing and I will kind of turn that I want it to be kind of straight 
We don't want it right here. We want to bring it out one more. So right about there we'll do. Then we'll bring this all the way down here to almost where the center pipe coming up is. But I'm going to bring that to right there. We'll do the same thing down here on the other side using nudge to make sure we get the turn just right right there. And then we'll bring that down this way. And again, bring it all the way down to the center foundation here right on the edge. Once that's in, we'll connect the two like that. Then we'll go in, we'll grab a pipeline junction cross. We'll place it right about as close as we can get to the center there. And then connect the pipe up to the pipeline in the floor. We'll copy that pipeline junction cross and we'll put it in front of all the other pipelines going into our refineries here. And then connect all those up to the junction crosses. Now I basically had to just kind of eyeball the junction crosses here to get them to kind of line up with that. If you have any trouble trying to get them to connect together, just switch it over to build mode noodle and they should work just fine. All right, so we've got an oil extractor down below that's going to be pumping the oil up through here using a Mark II pump that's on the pipeline. That will come up to here and then it will split right here and flow into our six refineries in order to make fuel. Now we just need to set up some fuel generators in order to make power out of the fuel. And I'm thinking about 12 of them should do it. So what I'm gonna do, this is our middle right down here. So I'm gonna come up here to about one foundation past our refineries right here. It's right about there. Let's go ahead and grab a refine or a uh, generator here. So let's go into power and there it is fuel generator and let's see i'm going to turn that so that the input is facing this way towards this side of our refineries let's get it about where i want it about there i'll hit h to go into nudge mode and i'm going to have it right here so this side right here is going to come all the way up against our grates right here on this foundation and then i want it right down the middle down this way so right there that looks great to me that's perfect yep all right so i'll place my first one we're going to take that fuel generator we're going to copy it and i'm going to put another one right next to it uh, all right we'll just nudge that over about two spots there we go then we'll do a third one right next to the last one again we'll move it about two spots over right there now that we have the three set up on that side, we're going to do another three on this side. So I'll copy that. We'll bring it over here. We will line this up. So nudge. And then let's see. There we go. So that is lined up with this one now. And then I want to have it right down the middle down through there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of the fuel that's coming out of these. We're going to run it straight up the middle and split it off in between these six fuel generators right here. So I'll place this fuel generator down and then I'll place two more matching them up with the other side here. And that is going to be our first six fuel generators that will all be ran from these three refineries on this side. So I'm just going to duplicate this now to the other side with those three refineries over there. We'll start here in the middle. That'll be the easiest to line all this up. So I'll copy one of our fuel generators here. And this time around, we're going to have the openings for the fuel to go into the generator on this side. So I'll just line this up here. There we go. So that is lined up with this one here, right up against it. So I'll go ahead and place that one down. Line up our second one right there with the ones on the other side. And then our third generator. And with those three set up, we will then copy the fuel generator. We will make sure that the inlet is facing inwards towards each other here. And we'll just put these on the other side here. That looks about right. I'll just nudge that over so that we have this entire center foundation down through here free for our pipes. And with it lined up perfectly right there, we'll go ahead and place it down. And then we'll get our last two generators in here as so. There we go. And then here's something I just actually recently found out about. I don't know how long this has been in the game, but you can now go into logistics. I can choose a junction cross right there and just place a junction cross down by itself. So I'm gonna go in between each of our fuel generators here and we'll place that down so it's lined up with the inlets like that. 
And then I always kind of like to work backwards here so that it's easier to just kind of back up and place them. So we'll get the second set in and then our third set. Looks like that's lined up right there. I can see the guidelines. We'll place that one down. And then we can actually just connect our Mark II pipelines up just like that to each of the junction crosses and into our fuel generators. All right, so now we have all of our fuel generators on this side all connected with pipes. Well, I'll just take that junction cross. We'll go to the other side and do the exact same thing over here, placing it down in between each of our fuel generators and then connecting up our Mark II pipes. Now let's turn our attention to our refineries. So these are going to be having two outputs. One is going to be our fuel. So we're going to need pipes for that, but we're also got the byproduct of the resins. So we need to take care of that as well. What I'm going to do is let's go ahead and grab a conveyor lift. Let's go ahead and put that on the end of each of our refineries here, like so. And we'll just put that there and then turn it this way towards our fuel generators. And our last one here, like that. And we'll do the other side as well here while we're at it. So there we go. And then back to our pipes. So we're going to connect a pipe into the outlet of our refinery. We're going to bring that out just past our uh, conveyor lifts right there. So something like we can just kind of bring it to there. That will work. And then I'll go down here to the third one right here. And I'll do the same thing. So we'll bring that out to there. And then we'll connect these two together like that. So the first and third refinery are now connected to each other, which means we just need to take a junction cross, put it in the middle. If I hold down control, that should line up. It does. So I'll place that in there and then connect this refinery to that junction. And then I'll connect another pipe coming out of that same junction right there. But I'm going to turn it so that it is going into there and just kind of get a nice slanted kind of elbow in there that works right there and then connect those two together all right so the fuel from our refineries is now going to be coming out of these three running up through there and divided among our six generators here let's go over to the other side now same thing we'll come down here to the far end i will bring this out to just past where our conveyor lift is right there Go up here to the first one right here. We'll do the same thing, just past that conveyor lift. And then we'll connect those two pipes together and each of the refineries together there. There we go. And let's go ahead and grab another junction. We'll find the middle refinery here. Hold down control, line it up. And then another pipe, connect that to that. And then this one, ooh, this one looks like a much more of an elbow is gonna be needed. We may just kind of come down through here Kind of like this maybe let's see yeah i think i may just want to do this one as a straight bend and then connect those two up together to the fuel generators all right so that's all our fuel connected but we got to deal with the polymer resin that our refineries are also making here now as you can see we're making about 30 per minute out of each one of these that's about 90 per side so a total of 180 we need to get rid of somehow there are recipes where we can take the resin and then turn it into, say, plastic or even rubber, neither of which we actually need. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw in a sink here. Let me put our foundation back right there. Go into special, grab an awesome sink, and I'm going to place this awesome sink like right here in the middle between all of our refineries right there. Uh, I'll just kind of nudge this back doesn't really matter where it's at as long as it's in there somewhere um, I could bring it up a little bit now next we're going to need 12 power shards because each of these fuel generators is going to get one power shard each so I'll go in here we'll throw one power shard in and we'll pump that up so that means we're going to have 225 megawatts being produced in each of these generators and that is a total of 2700 megawatts of power now that all of our fuel generators are now loaded with power shards and pumped up to about 150%, let's go ahead and get them connected to a power network. So I'm going to go ahead and put a power pole here and we're going to go up the sides. So this side and the other one here, and I'm going to find the middle where the power receptacle is right there. And I'll just place that right there and then connect that up to power there. And then we'll do the same thing. So we'll come down here. We'll find the middle of the next one. That's good. 
and connect that to that. Come down to our third one here, find the middle, which is going to be there, connect there, and connect these two up to that. That takes care of this side. Let's do the same thing on the other side over here. All right, all of our power poles on this side are connected. Let's turn our attention to the six in the middle here. So for this one, we'll just go right in between each of the fuel generators and we'll put down a power pole right in the middle. So right there in between each of these two and then we'll connect to there and connect to there. Grab a connection and we'll go to the next two, place in between each of them and then connect them up. And our last two right here, so we'll do the same thing there and there and then connect all three of these up through the middle. For our refineries and the sink, I am going to go ahead and we'll grab a power line from this pole right here for our first generator. We'll bring that down to, let's see, right about that edge right there. And then we'll just bring this over. This is just going to be temporary until I get a chance to do something else. We're just trying to get this done. So then I'll connect from there to our first refinery. And then we'll put one of these in front of each one of our refineries. Once you get over here to the sink, we will kind of do about the same thing, except let's go here to the edge right here, right there. And then we'll connect to the sink there. And then we'll run another one over here to the other side of the sink, right there on the edge of that. And then we'll continue from there along with the rest of our refineries right in the middle of each refinery and connect these out. Once we get over to our last refinery, we will then take another power pole, put it onto the edge right here, and then connect that up to the other side so that we have a complete circle of all of the power there. Now let's come all the way down here to the end of our platform, right in the middle here. Let's go into our power menu and let's find the basic power tower right there. And let's place that down so that it's smack dab in the middle of the platform on the edge right here that looks like that's going to work to me let's just make sure it is lined up perfectly uh there that is the middle right there so i'll connect that to that we'll then connect a power line from there down to the middle of these power lines going down the middle of the fuel generators i'll connect another one coming this way all the way over to this side going down the edge and right there there and then connect these up to that do the same thing on the other side here so we'll put one on the edge connect that up down through there all right so we should have a perfect circle of power right now coming into the main power tower right here so what we'll do is we'll connect this power tower down to uh over there probably where those biomass generators are right there uh but we need to take care of everything underneath of the platform because we need to make sure our oil extractor is also got power as well as the pump. I think in order to get the power down underneath of the platform, what I will do is I'll just take from this power pole right here and we'll put one right on the edge of that platform. We'll then run that underneath down through here like so, and then keep running it all the way down here. We can go not necessarily to the middle, but pretty close to it. We'll go to like right there. We can then connect up our oil extractor to that, run another power cable all the way over to say here, and then run that down to the pump like that. So that should be the oil extractor now has, well, it will have power in a minute. Uh, so that's connected, the pump is connected, the refineries are connected, and all the fuel generators are now connected. So the next thing is we just need to get power up to the platform. Let's get one of our power tower platforms right here. Let's face it so that it is turned this way, like so. Just kind of line it up somewhere. It doesn't really need to be necessarily lined up perfectly there. And then we'll connect a power line from there up to the tower up there. And that should provide power to everything there, or at least it will in a minute. Let's go ahead and let's put a control module in here. We'll do a power switch like right underneath of the platform here. We'll send one going up to the tower there and another one, we will run it to, well, I kind of want to do one like right here in the middle. So let's grab one of the power poles here. Let's kind of put it on the line right there like that. And then we should just be able to line that up like that and then connect a line from that power pole to this 
over to the power switch and let's turn on the power hopefully everything becomes operational Ooh, we got it just in time we were almost out of power on our battery banks we're not quite done yet though we need to make sure that we're getting enough oil into all of our refineries here so let's see well, if we take a look at one of our refineries we need 60 oil per minute in each one of these so that's 60 60 and 60 that is a hundred and eighty and then 180 on the other side so we need about 360 oil total let's drop down here to our oil extractor this is a pure node so it shouldn't be a problem let's see we're making 240 let's throw a power shard into this we'll up that to 150 percent and look at that 360 per minute that should be enough oil to run all six of our refineries it will probably take a little bit for the fuel and stuff to start getting made and then sit through all the pipes and, and start filling up all the generators so that all the generators are kicking in and staying on. Let's take a look at our fuel generators here though. So it looks like we are burning about 18 per minute and we have 12 of these. So let's see, 18 times 12. We need about 216 total fuel. And I know that I'm making 40 in each of these, so that's, uh, let's see, that's 120 per side. 120 times 2 is 240. It's actually more than we need, and that's a good thing, because that means the fuel is just going to keep getting made. I would much rather have a backup of fuel than to have everything else just not working. All right, well, there we have it. We have now made an oil rig here that is just for power and power only, filled with 12 fuel generators, and that is going to produce us about 2,700 megawatts. We could probably up that if we needed to using some more power shards here and there, but you can also take and just recreate the exact same thing in another spot with more oil and then be able to add another 2,700. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode of How to Satisfactory, the very last one before Satisfactory 1.0 releases here on the 10th. I do know that once 1.0 comes out, I do plan on starting a brand new How to Satisfactory series uh, where we are going to dive in and kind of start all over again from the beginning with the way things have changed. And uh, I'm looking forward as much as you guys are to seeing what those changes are going to be. I know we know some of them from the... Uh, coffee stain studios vlogs but we don't know everything just yet we don't know a whole lot about the story or really anything just yet so i'm excited to dive into that when it releases and i, I imagine you guys are as well so some of you guys are probably wondering out there what's going to happen to this series and right now i honestly don't know i think i want to keep going with it as much as i can but I don't really know how that's going to work out because we have an all new series we're going to start with 1.0. We've got Planet Coaster 2 coming out very, very soon. They're saying fall. I'm thinking that's going to be November. So lots of satisfactory stuff coming up. Lots of Planet Coaster 2 stuff coming up. Uh, I still want to dive back into more City Skylines 2 as well and kind of want to dig back into some Sims. But for now, that's going to do it from here in Satisfactory. Wherever you guys are in the world, thanks for tuning in. I very much appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment. Even if it's just an emoji, that stuff really helps these videos grow. And it helps the YouTube algorithm to push us even further out there. It's like any kind of interaction to the video at all just really does help. Thank you all for all your support. I will see you in the next video wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.